Hello guys, this is Aaron here and today I'm doing a Transformers video review on Chronicle Zero Two Megatron Double Pack which features Dark of the Moon Voyager Megatron and G1 Megatron and I'm real happy that um, this finally came through in a post and, um, and I'm really impressed by the, um, the box art um, over here there's G1 Megatron and the Dark of the Moon version of Megatron except um, Dark of the Moon Voyager version of Megatron has no Decepticon symbol anywhere on his chest but the G1 version of Megatron does and this is real, real cool and this side has the um, G1 Megatron it's G1 Megatron it looks real cool don't you think but, and um, this box art is also based on the um, 1983 um, um, Micro Man Micro Change um, more the P38 Gun Robo series. It's been released in Japan back in 1983-1984. Um, There's a G1 Decepticon symbol. And this side of the box is the um, Transformers live action movie version of the Decepticon symbol and there's Dark of the Moon version of Megatron. And he looks real, real, real menacing. And, this, and on the back of the box you also have um, the audio info on G1 Megatron and the live action Transformers Dark of the Moon version of Megatron, they're all in Japanese. There's um, G1 Megatron here in his robot form, and there's, that's his Wolves of P38 um, pistol form with only a scope and no weapon extensions. The live action version of Megatron here, um, wearing a cloak, and that's G1 Megatron. Did I say G1 Megatron? I meant. Dark of the Moon Voyager class Megatron in his Mac truck form, and you can tell by the um, little Mac logo along with the Mac, along with um, a Mac Bulldog. It's real cool. So now I've got the um, the box out of the way, which, and which is real cool. I'm going to show you the um, the paperwork that it comes with. First, I'm going to start with the double sided poster. There's um, G1 Megatron and Dark of the Moon version of Megatron on this side and from shows you which Decepticon leaders um, are which and there's G1 Megatron there's Galvatron, Scorponok Black Zarek Overlord Deathsaurus G2 Megatron Megatron Missile Tank there's Megatron in jet form Crocodile version of Megatron Tyrannosaurus version of Megatron where he transforms into the um, Tyrannosaurus Rex during the Beast Wars. There's Beast Galvatron and there's um, Magmatron made up of three animals that transform into one robot. And there's Metals Megatron, Dragon Metals Megatron, Gigatron from Transformers um, Car Robots, also known as Transformers Robots in Disguise in the United States of America. There's Armada version of Megatron. There's um, Transformers vers Energon version of Megatron, aka Galvatron. And there's Returns Megatron, right next to Master Megatron and Master Galvatron. And there's live action version, 2007 live action version of Megatron, um, a sports um, label version of Megatron, where it transforms into a lab um, one of the sh um, Nike trainers. And there's um, next to him, there's the Transformers. Um, Japanese classics version of Megatron, Heg, aka Henkei Megatron, and there's the Transformers Dark um, Venture of the Fallen version of Megatron, and there's the Transformers animated version of Megatron, along with Transformers Generations Megatron, um, United Megatron, and Dark of the Moon Megatron. And on the back shows you all the um, back of this poster shows you all the um, Autobot leaders from the ages um, from 1985 right down to the year 2011 and there's Dark of the Moon version of Optimus Prime it's real cool, the poster itself is real cool so I'm definitely keeping the poster intact now it does come with the same instructions which is real simple and the instructions for the um, Transformers Dark of the Moon version of DOTM Voyager class Megatron are also based on the original Hasbro version, which we will call. 
and it looks real, real amazing. And on the back, it shows you how to transform G1 Megatron from his robot's form into his Wolf the P38 form. And it does have a little bit of a secret emblem. And, and on these three pictures, they show you um, which stickers go where on G1 Megatron, where he, when, whether he's in his robot form or both the uh, P38 pistol form. Which is real cool. Got the, put the instructions on aside for now. And these are the stickers that I'm definitely keep. I'm seriously, seriously keeping intact and unused. Because once they get stuck on that, exit, there is no taking them off. So we'll do some, so I'm keeping these stickers unused. So now we've got the stickers out of the way. Let's get on with transforming Dark of the Moon Megatron. Because I'm leaving, and then after that, onto I've done this G1 Megatron. Now Dark of the Moon Voyager version of Megatron looks real menacing, don't you think? And he, and you can tell by by the fact he's wearing a little cloak. And, and his arms does have the full um, um, 360, um, full 360 degree articulation on both arms because his head is on a ball joint and he, and he has elbow, both elbow joints and knee joints so that he has leg movement, movement in legs and movement in feet and his feet movements are a bit, um, a bit limited and he does have waist movement as well. So I'm going to transform Dark of the Moon Voyager class Megatron by taking off his cloak first because his head has, um, has does have head movement has head movement so I'm going to put his cloak aside and to take off his little mech tech weapon which I'm saving for last starts off by closing up his both his fists both his hands like this Close up these two parts which form the front bumper. Bring them out. Bring this whole piece out like this. And what you want to do, turn his waist around. Bring up his front windows. Close up his head. Then what you want to do, close bring up his head, close this piece up like this. Then what you want to do, and what you also do, come come up to this side, bring it up this way, bring his shoulders up this way, and then what what you also do, turn his see where his spikes are, turn them around. Always make sure that his hands are closed up first. Always make sure his hands are closed up because that is important. Turn his front wheel around. Bring up these two parts, and then what you also do, close them up. Close up these two parts where the spikes are. Close these two other two other pieces up. Then what you also do, close up these two other parts where his legs are. And this piece brings downwards. And then, and then for his other upper legs, close them up. Close them up where his um, wheels are. Then what you'll do, bring up his upper heels like this. And then bring up um, his arms and then close these pieces up. Always make sure they're closed up. Always make sure these pieces are closed up. Then what to do, turn his lower legs around. Unhook his, both his front wheels, well, back wheels actually. Unhook his feet. Shrivel these pieces up this way. These pieces close up. And then close and then these two other pieces where his back wheels are, we close them up. And 
and throw these back number plates, close it up. Like this. And then add on, and then close his smokestacks up to reveal the Decepticon symbol. And add on his Mechtech weapon by closing this piece up, clip it into place, and there you have Dark of the Moon Voyager Megatron in his truck form. And he does look real menacing. And I saw a trailer for um, G Dark of the Moon Voyager class Meg Voyager um, Megatron's um, vehicle form on YouTube, and it is real, real. And the truck the truck form is real, real cool, especially the um, especially the trailer itself. And if you like, you know, and if you like, you can also add the um, add Megatron's um, cloak on the back of his trailer. Let's look something like. That and he is real cool, and his wheels run smoothly. So now I'm going to transform him back into his robot form. Now take up his mech tech weapon and then clip the black handle. Put his mech tech weapon aside, which I'm saving for later. And these two pieces unhook. Bring his legs outwards like this and clip this piece and flip it upwards. Bring out his arms, that's his one wheels. Close up his little smokestacks. Then what you do, come up to the front um, part of the truck where his um, massive spikes are. And the part in the front parts of um, Dark of the Moon Void Megatron's um, truck form has massive spikes because they have massive, because they form the, um, the shoulder pads. Turn, come to his front wheels and then turn his arms around, and then bring out his arms, well, his hands, sorry. Do the same thing on this side. And if anyone is wondering about some difference between, if, and if anyone is wondering what is the difference between the um, Japanese um, Takara Tomy version and the um, um, Hasbro America version, well, that's just dead simple, because the same mold, the molds are still the same, except the um, the colours are a bit um, a bit different. So. The Transformers Dark of the Moon um, Voyager class version of Megatron is a must for all Transformers fans in both the um, United States of America and in Japan, the UK as well. And not just Europe too. And there we have Transformers Dark of the Moon Voyager class Megatron in his robots form back from his Mac truck form. So I'm putting on back his um his little cloak. Putting on back his cloak. Always make sure everything is in place. And he looks and once again Dark of the Moon Voyage class Megatron looks real menacing. He really does. Now onto his mech tech weapon, got his handle and um, little black handle and um, closed up as well. Bring it and his handle bring it upwards this way. Come up to his little ladder here and watch closely. Press the little button here to release his mech tech weapon which has massive spikes. And this mech tech weapon of Megatrons can be fitted to any one of his two arms. Actually, I prefer to fit his mech tech weapon in this hand. So there we've got G um, Voyager class Megatron. And now on to Transformers Generation 1 Megatron. Now G1 Megatron here is very menacing and he also transforms into a Warther P38 
um, hand pistol and you can tell by his robot form has um, a little orange um, safety plug in his gun barrel for safety reason and the G1 toy G1 Megatron toy itself is an adult collectible and it's not to be bought by any Transformers fans and Transformers G1 fans under the age of 16 because as I said before the G1 toy itself is an, ad an adult collectible and because of his um, his gun form. So to transform Megatron it's real simple to take off his um, little fusion cannon bring his arms upwards close up both of his arms like this bring down his head and his arms come up to his knees and bring him closer to his um, trigger swivel his slum gun barrel close and turn his um, torso or what I usually do is take this whole thing up and then start again by clipping it down clipping it down like this so that it's in fits into place what I to do he wants to keep his head down, bring his, both of his arms upwards like this. Close up his arms, this, this close section this way where the safety catch is. Close up G1 Megatron's head like this. Come up to his legs, bring him up this, bring him up where the handle is. Close up both of his feet which are made out of die cast metal. And then close this piece up and there you have G1 Megatron and a little bit quick um, rub of his um, secret emblem see if it's Autobot or Decepticon yes it is no surprise a Decepticon why? Megatron is one of the evil Decepticons and he is the evil Decepticon leader put on his little scope um, that's his scope? I meant his scope is also G1 Megatron's fusion cannon if I pull the trigger like this nothing coming up because there's a set orange, little, little orange safety pin inside of Megatron's gun barrel and this is why and this is one of the main reasons why G1 Megatron is an adult collectible and it's not to be bought by any Transformers um, fans and new Transformers G1 fans under the age of 16 because this toy is an adult collectible despite the fact that G1 Megatron here is a Wather P38 which is a handgun um, despite, um, um, and if you're living in America and you bought some a G1 Megatron toy and kept it and transformed it from his robot form into his Walter P38 form or in his Walter P38 form or G1 Megatron in robot form, you always have to, and it's very, very, very important to have an orange safety plug inside G1 Megatron's gun barrel, and that is very, 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 very important despite gun laws, despite gun laws um, in America. So, I'm going to transform G1 Megatron back into his um, robot's form now. And this is real, real cool. And this is, um, this is only the first time I've ever had a, um, a Transformers G1 Megatron toy. I'd start by um, uh, um, un un opening both his um, legs, which form the handle, bringing his lower legs downwards, bring and then opening up Megatron G1 Megatron's head this way, and clip unclipping them um, both sides of the Walter P38 form where Megatron's hands are, and come up to his little tabs to release both of his hands like this, and this and this little black tab which opens up to form his hands and arms. Bring both Megatron's legs together. Come up to this section and swivel um, this whole um, section around. And what I also do, and what I also do, come up to this section and bring up. Oh, it's meant to, I don't know why, but it's meant to come up. So, sorry about that. Just I don't know why it just flung off somewhere. And I just. from Megatron's um, torso turn his little um, gun and barrel around then bring bring Megatron's legs 
level so that his barrel stays in place. Then what to do, bring up G1 Megatron's arms and heads, arms and head this way, bring his arms down, and there we have G1 Megatron. And he looks real menacing, I know. And you can tell by the Decepticon symbol. And I'll tell you what else Megatron also comes with. That's real simple. He also does come with 20 red pellets, and he also does come with brace yourself over the age of 16 then you can also then you can get some G1 uh, Megatron because but as I've said before G1 Megatron toy itself is for Transformers fans over the age of 16 because it's an adult collectible because of, despite the amount of die cast metal it has so I hope you guys enjoyed this video review and um, Please feel free to let me know what you guys think, and um, I'll be and I'll be doing some more Transformers video reviews soon. Take care of yourselves.